Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a plug slash plug and be type beat. I say plug slash plug and be because this kind of sounds like both genres. Plug and plug and be is not very much separated, but I think you can really hear the difference between plug and plug and be. And this is like a small mix of both, but yeah. Let's get into the piano roll and I'm gonna show you how I made this beat. So first off we got an E piano. I started off with making a minor chord. This is a minor 7th chord I think. And you can make a minor chord if you take a root note, any root note, and then you count up 1, 2, 3. And after that you count up 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you have your minor chord. And if you want to extend the chord, then you can also place another top note. So in my case, I place the A. Then you go one, two, three up. So always two spaces in between, three and two. And the minor chord is followed by a major chord. So the major chord is actually the opposite. So you have three spaces in between the root note and the second note. And then you have two spaces in between. And again 3, if you would want to extend this chord, then you would have to go 2 in between again. Then I did this chord, I don't know if this has a special name or something, but I just clicked in these sounds and I thought they sound really good. So, And then at the end of the chord I have a diminished chord. So this is a very common trick in plug and B to use diminished chords to create this jazzy feeling. And yeah, a diminished chord is made by picking any root note and then leaving two spaces between every note. So yeah, that's like my plug and B element in this plug type beat. So let's listen to the melody. And I forgot to tell you, I added these top notes, so yeah, just to transition into the next chord. Then we will continue with, I think it's a bell. Yeah, just to add some some atmosphere and I think it sounds really good with the melody overall. So you will see with almost all these four sounds on their own, they are not really doing so much, but when they are combined, they work really well together. And yeah, you will see that in the end. So yeah, that's another bell. I think this is a string. No, it's a mallet. And then we have a string. Yeah, so I changed the string pattern a bit up because this is like the intro of the beat. And for the hook, I just made it so it repeats over and over again. Then I made this melody, I don't know what this is. It's a flute. Yeah, this continues also. And nothing much to say to this. I just had this melody in my head and I put this down in the MIDI. Then I made, I don't know what this is either. <laughs> Yeah, this is, I think originally this was a lead, but then I changed the sound up to a bell pad, and this is how it sounds like. I think this sounds beautiful and adds on really well to the melody. Then I have, then we have a pad, and this is just the piano melody without the top notes. So next up we got this ambient sound. I just added this in to create some atmosphere. I really love to add these just very small melodies, but they add really good texture and atmosphere to the beat. I like the sound. And then for the last part of the melody we got this lead. And I only use this lead for the intro, the bridge and the outro. And let's listen to this. Yeah, 
just repeats over and over. Then let's go over to the drums. Yeah, nothing crazy with the drums. And that's because you can see the melodies going crazy. We got 10 tracks of the melody. You don't have to do as much as I did right here. This is like very much for the melody. And because the melody goes so crazy, I don't have too many drums. I think I don't need to go over and explain the mixing to you because the only thing I did is cut out some frequencies with EQ. And that's all I did for the drums too. For the 808, I cut out the frequencies and put on some sound godizer and the soft slipper with the basic presets, so nothing changed. And that's basically it for the mixing. I added just a few sound effects because I didn't think it needed much more. But bro, if you want to go crazy with the sound effects on your beat, go for it. And yeah, arrangement wise, I did a little intro, as I said, with this lead. And it goes for 8 bars. After that I have a 16 bar hook. Followed by a 16 bar, excuse me, 24 bar verse. And at the end of the 24 bar verse, so the last 8 bars, I added in this lead that I have for my intro. And I took out all the drum sounds. Then I have a little outro, so I just created an automation clip. By marking these last 8 bars with control and left mouse click and then I went into the master and right click on this knob and create automation clip then I let the volume fade out a bit I guess that's it for the tutorial you are very welcome to comment down below what you think about this tutorial and what I can do better and also I will upload many more tutorials on this channel so consider subscribing to this channel if you don't want to miss it and also I post weekly free loop kits so Every week you get, I don't know, 10 loops from me for free and you can cook some beats with that. Maybe it helps you if you have beat block or some shit like that. Or you can also tap in with me on Instagram. I will leave all my social links and, I don't know, my type beat channels in the description. You can check that out if you want. And yeah, DM me on Instagram if you want to work. I'm open to work with everyone. I'm going to put you on my email list and then you get weekly loops from me. Yeah, you can also send me loops, of course, and I will do some drums on them and most likely post them on my BeatStars or on my YouTube channel. So yeah, bro, have a great day. I'm going to play the full beat right now. Mm -hmm.